Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and welcome to Blue IP. My name is Eric Aving and I'm the Senior Product Manager here at Blue IP. I'm new to the company, but I'm definitely not new to the telecom industry. I was actually previously with a telecom competitor for the past 17 years prior to joining Blue IP. So I'm very excited to share this new project with you all. We call this the Hybrid Key System Project. And this is my first project with Blue IP. Now, to make this project possible, we work in collaboration with our partners at OB High. And as you can tell from our OB High phones, we've got the 1062 and we've got the OB High 1032 phones. So the goal here is two folds. First, we focus on simplicity. We want to simplify your daily call operations. Second, we want to bring you all the powerful features you would expect from an enterprise grade phone system but not change the way you're already using your current premise-based system. So before the actual phone demo, let me discuss a bit more detail about the hybrid key system. First, every single user gets their own private extension and voicemail. So here we can see the front desk, the exam room, and of course the doctor's office. And second, regardless of the number of users in your office, whether you have two, or 24 plus users, every user has access to these eight line keys. These eight line keys are really what makes this a hybrid key system project. Users can put a call on hold on one of the eight line keys and they can pick it up from any other phone in the company. So as I mentioned before, the key here is simplicity. It's a one touch operation to put a call on hold and take it out of hold. This is another first for Blue IP. And this is really a first in the industry to have this kind of key system functionality, but on a hosted system. All right, so here's the fun part of the video. So we have a call coming in to the front desk. Front desk picks up the call. Thank you for calling Dr. Smith's office. How can I help you? Sure, let me check to see if the doctor's available. So she goes ahead and puts the call on hold on any one of these line keys. So for this instance, let's choose line one. So notice, first of all, that it only took a single touch to put the call on hold in any one of these line keys. And also notice that not only is her line one blinking, but it's also blinking for exam room one, and it's also blinking in doctor's office one. That way, everybody in the company knows that there's a call holding on line one. So at this point, she can either just find a doctor, or we even put in a soft, uh, soft key for page. Dr. Smith, you have a call holding on line one, Dr. Smith, and at this point you can just hang up the call. Alright, so watch what happens if the doctor does not pick up this help call. The recall timer is going to kick in. I have the recall timer set for 30 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait for the recall. Alright, now you can see that the recall timer kicked in, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in on the recall timer. You can see that there's a new call coming from Blue IP. And at this point, now she has two choices. She can answer the call or she can reject the call. If she answers the call, she'll just be connected back to the client. If she rejects the call, the call will just be put back on hold. So let's assume that the doctor's in exam room one and he is available to take this call. So the doctor picks up the phone, presses line one, and he's immediately connected to the patient. And as he's talking to the patient, he realizes that he needs to take this call privately. So he'll put the call back on hold on any one of these line keys again. This time we'll use line two. And he hangs up. He'll go over to his room, pick up the phone, and again, pick up line two. And so now, the doctor can continue his conversation. Well, let's just say that after some time, he realizes that uh, he needs to see the patient again and that the uh, front desk should set up another appointment for him. So the doctor will again put this call back on hold. This time, he puts it on line three. So back at the front desk, the front desk sees that there's a line being held on line three. But let's just assume that there's multiple lines being held. So how does the front desk know who's holding on the call? 
Well, it's simple. All she's got to do is press and hold the line 3 button. And you'll notice that it comes up with a line 3 monitor extension status. And if she presses this little checkbox, it tells her the phone number of the person who's calling. At that point, she can just pick up the phone. And she can now make the appointment for the patient. So guys, as you can see, we put a lot of thought and effort on making the hybrid key system project as bulletproof as possible. To recap, we gave you a one-touch operation so that you can put a call on hold and take it out of hold. We have a recall timer that is fully configurable. We have a touch and hold system so that you can easily see the name and phone number of who is holding. We also have a one-touch paging system so that you can page all the phones. We hope that you're excited over this project as we are at Blue IP. We believe this offering will help many customers become more efficient on their hosted system. So stay tuned for more. Please contact your account manager for more information on sales, training, and a demo. Again, thanks for joining us today.